this season to make a hearty, healthy soup, and only one guy can help us do it. Welcome to the show, back to the show, <laughs> Master Junior Chef and Memphis's very finest chef, Logan Goodall. Oh, Welcome, good to see my you. friend. Yep. I cannot even believe that you're already <laughs> filling out college applications. It oh, makes me yes. cry, so I'm just going to brush you right know? over that. Oh, yeah. I love it. But we've got one, two, oh, yes. three, four soups here. We got a lot of soups here. Okay. Now, I decided to do soups because it's that time of year. Yes. It's cold. Yes. I don't want to move, and Absolutely. the soup is the perfect thing to go with. Yes, it so is. So I have a couple soups here. First, I'm going to start with the chicken soup. Oh, the chicken, chicken noodle. Soup, chicken noodle soup. Yeah. Fabulous soup. You can do a, um, amazing things with it, but you really have one secret. Okay. And that's that you have to strain it. So, uh -huh. now I'm going to tell you this because this is a secret to getting a really beautiful broth. Because if okay. you look at my chicken soup broth, it's really pretty. It's all nice, clear. It is beautiful. You can just see it. Yeah. And that's because I strain off a lot of the really yucky parts. And can you see, can you see how yeah. this looks? Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Let's see, you got it. You can kind of see how yeah. So you can yeah, see how absolutely. there's just the fat and yeah. just the chicken. It's just yep. really clear, okay. as opposed to other ones that can get really cloudy. Alrighty. Now my second soup here. This is my Japanese yam. Now uh, I know, I know it's, it's kind of Japanese yam. Japanese yam. Now I chose the Japanese yam because it has a really sweet flavor. Okay. And the sweet flavor and the starchiness just really complement each other well for a nice, okay. and just kind of dessert now, soup. Now, while you're doing that, right. uh, this is the Japanese yam, That's by the, the way. Yam. Okay, yeah. so if you see it in the store, it kind of looks a little bit like a sweet potato, but kind it's of. a little more purple, sort of. But when you cut into it, it's, it's kind of a, a green, <laughs> greeny color. I yeah. don't know. They, they can vary. And it's very hearty. It's very hearty. And, um, Let's see. Ooh, turbo. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now, what I have going on here is an immersion blender. This is great for your stovetop soup. Oh, perfect. Because you can see, you can get in there and get all the power. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. You can see. And Golly, it smells good. There we go. Wow. You can see it's a little bit thick, but we're going to thin it with a little bit of nut milk. Now, nut milk's really good. I'm using the nut, nut milk. milk. Nut okay. milk. Okay. So I'm using this oat milk, unsweetened, okay. because this is a savory soup. Yep. And I'm using this because it's going to add more flavor, more layers of flavor. Very Anytime good. Anytime you think of what can I do with flavor, you have to think about, you know, just kind of huh. where can I add it, and I'm going to yeah. add it with some milk. Because, you know, most of the time you just use a normal milk to make it creamier, to make it more delicious. But this nut, but this milk, nut will milk will enrich. will really add and enrich the flavor yeah. of it. And let's see, there we go. Wow. So you can see, it's starting to really get there. And the great thing about soup with something like this is it'll stick with you and it'll warm your insides and it's also healthy. Yeah. You know, a lot of people oh, yeah. are doing Very all healthy. those. Uh, um, the keto and the yes, low carbs and all yes, that other yes, stuff. Yes, yes, You know, the soups are really healthy, low sodium, just really good stuff. Absolutely. Now, you do have to be careful with the immersion blender because it is very dangerous. Okay. But as long as you have it in the bottom of the pot, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. So now, let's this move is, on to the yeah, next soup. Yeah, this is something that intrigues me yeah. because. Now, I'm using this uh, kombucha or this kind of Japanese pumpkin. Okay. Now, I'm using this because um, it's really pretty. It's kind yeah, of interesting. It is. Okay. And uh, now you told me that you had a lot of issue with squashes. Well, because I can't ever cook them. I put them in the oven for like, it seems like 12 years. You know, I'm a little <laughs> yeah, sarcastic. I, I know. But it just never seems to get done. So yeah. you had some so tips for me. So actually, I have a tip for you is that you Alrighty. actually microwave them for eight minutes beforehand. Okay. And you're going to add in some nut milk to the blender. Microwave it and poke holes, poke holes in, in it. Mom. it because Mom it'll, it'll is back just in the explode. back saying poke holes, yeah, poke holes. Yeah, poke holes. Poke holes. Yeah. Holes. And okay. then microwave it for eight minutes and then roast it off for the 20 for the flavor. Okay. Now, this is kind of just kind of how I found that it works the best. Now, let's see. Okay. All right, Miss Amy, we're going to work the Vitamix. Oh, yeah. Now, you, you do that. You do that because I don't want to make anything mad. Okay. All right, let's see. Is it going good? What do oh, we need? yeah, it's going fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just the Vitamix. This is my extra, extra strong blender. So Golly, that looks delicious, oh, yeah. though. One of the things, we're going to add a little, a little, a little bit more. A little more milk. Okay. A little bit more milk. So should you just add until it's soupy? Add or until what? you want your desired texture. Okay, So it depends deal. on if you want it really firm or you want it more loose. Okay. It really depends on how you're feeling it. All right. So the, this is the great one. I love there we go. that. And now you can see oh, we have this really beautiful. delicious, a little bit thick, but it should be. Can we be, pour it in this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Golly, Logan, I just feel like I've done all <laughs> kinds of stuff today. All right. A little bit thick. But, oh, but that's you know, okay. That's okay. This could also work for a squash puree. Ooh. You know, sometimes you want a really thick soup. 
it really depends on how you're feeling. Look at that. And then, let's see if how we can get a little How nice bit is that? Yeah, you can and see so how healthy. silky it is. And let me give it a little try. Mm. What oh, do you delicious. think? delicious. Fabulous? Fabulous. Now, I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of the pumpkin seeds. And That's then I'm going to hit it with a little bit of the nutmeg. Okay. Now, I'm using these spices. These are really warm, aromatic fall flavors. Oh, my see. gosh. If you could smell that, that's delicious. There we go. And a little bit of sugar on the top, just because our squash came out a little bit more savory. Okay. You know, you're really looking for a balance of flavors with soup. Yeah. You see, you always oh want to have another spoonful. Oh, my gosh, that smells so good. <laughs> I love it. I yeah, love just, it. Mm. That is so fabulous. You really want to go for the balance of flavors. Like okay. With the chicken soup, it's very balanced. Yes. You always want to take another bite. With this soup right here, which is kind of a little, little funky looking. No, but looking. it looks great, but, though. Mm. See? Mm. You've got that perfect balance. Mm. And it's the great thing about Chef Logan is he's got a book that he lists a lot of these recipes, but you can talk back and forth oh, to yeah. him. He's yeah. on Twitter. He's on Instagram. Yeah. He's got a you website. Know, if you have any issues or yeah. if you know you want to change your color, like you could always add in a purple sweet potato to your Japanese Which yams, would be great. Which could increase the, the texture and the, yeah. the color, but I mean, I couldn't find one. I love it. <laughs> it's okay. But you know, the best thing is he cooks with what he has, yeah. so he can help you cook with what you have. He is fabulous. Chef Logan Gulov, thank you so thank much, Thank you so friend. much. Happy New Year. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Get his book. Follow him. His website is logangulov.com.